Anybody think we're crazy? <laughs> I did see the comment of, why don't you just save up and build a different house? <laughs> um, we've actually heard that a lot over the last few years, a lot. Hello, we are upstairs. We want to show you um, our next remodeling project, what it looks from the upstairs. Last weekend we showed you the downstairs, uh, what we're planning to do, but today we thought you would walk yes. through the upstairs. And with this project, we're not planning on starting it until after Christmas. So I know a lot of people mentioned like, hey, that's a lot to do between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh, No, yeah. so it's we'll start this after Christmas. Mm -hmm. Maybe like Christmas, Christmas at, afternoon, like the afternoon of Christmas. Very likely. That's <laughs> so what we did in the kitchen. Yeah. So um, <laughs> it takes a little while. We're still not resolved on what we're going to do downstairs. So that's why I was like, let's just go upstairs today and talk about the upstairs. Because I think we're both on the same page with what it is. There's not a whole lot of options upstairs. Well, yeah. So we'll show you the upstairs here. Let's go back over to the staircase. We'll show you coming upstairs. So we did recently move the boys out to the, yeah, landing. to the landing. Okay, so let's go back to the stairs. So we'll show you. So this is the staircase coming up. The door is shut at the bottom, so it looks kind of dark. But yep. so this is coming upstairs, and then. Sorry, I'm in your other way. Oh, you're fine. And then you come around, and then we have this landing area here. So this was the kids' little library mm -hmm. sitting area. We decided the boys were waking the girls up early in the morning, and the girls weren't able to sleep, so we moved the boys out here. And that was kind of, I think we had the idea ready of splitting the upstairs into two bedrooms mm -hmm. before then, but we're like, let's just try it. It's working well. And so... Well, um, and we also didn't know if this, because this is basically the size of the second bedroom, is would this work to put two little boys in here? And so it's working totally fine though. What do you What do you mean this is the size of the second bedroom? Well, when we divide them, this is how big this bedroom is going to be pretty yeah, much. Yeah, it'll be a little bit bigger. Like, but roughly this is as big be, as I'll it be is. cutting this out and this will be a wall here. So there'll so be the, some more floor There'll be a here. little bit more floor room, but this is essentially the size. Yes, here. Yeah. Yep. And there is, so if we look back this way, this is a really good size closet. This, this goes closet all the way back. all the way here. And then there's a crawl space to get into the attic up front. So we'll wall this off here and then put a big closet door in there for the boys. I've actually debated on maybe this wall might go that way a little bit. No. <laughs> Veto. <laughs> I mean, we're still talking about that. It's all going to be closets. <laughs> but moving a wall is way bigger. Dude, how many walls have I moved in our life? Okay, here, a we lot. got, okay, one second, here, let me <laughs> come back over here for a second. We need to talk about one other aspect of this, though. Okay, you stay there and I, we're, yeah, we're the Yeah, what's the aspect height. of it? Is that we still are planning on moving this house and putting it on a different basement, and we're going to put bedrooms in that basement. So, in a way, these bedrooms are still, they may or may not be... The kids' bedroom. So Dawn, Dawn foresees when, which she's probably right, once we move this house to a new foundation, we'll do a walkout basement underneath it, mm -hmm. and then the kids' rooms will be down there. With lookout windows. With, yes, and so... Like a Jack and Jill bathroom. Yes, so this will, like she says, essentially be extra space. But then. what we but would potentially is, <laughs> use these bedrooms for is to potentially do foster care. So we would still want these bedrooms. They just might not be used on as a regular basis and would this make a cute nursery? <laughs> oh my. Okay, anyways, we digress. So the only work we've done up here because we were planning on doing this project was um, Tom has replaced both the windows, but they're not trimmed out I haven't yet. trimmed them you out can in three see. years. And then we did... I did take the sheetrock off both ends of the house, and I insulated both exterior walls, re-sheetrocked, and then the short wall on both sides of the whole length, I went in and I spray foamed all of that from the backside. Yeah. Because the first winter we were here, you could feel the wind blow through the upstairs. Yeah, so that's made a huge which difference. Is fun. And then we also we put new carpet up here and then um, we also there was wallpaper that yes, we Yes, there was lots of glorious wallpaper. It actually came down really and easy. I think wasn't the carpet blue? 
it was blue out here and brown in yeah, the, yeah, their yeah, bedroom. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, but it worked. The family that lived here before us raised seven, seven kids. Seven kids in these in two that room. in these two bedrooms, and so we tell our kids all the time, like, you, it's uh -huh. don't even complain to us about bedroom yep. space. The the daughter that we had spoke with um, said that. Uh, like you, if you got to sleep out on the landing out yeah. here, that was like that was awesome. a big deal. This yeah. was the cool room yeah, to have. Yeah. So, all right, so we will come in here now and we'll show you. So, there's just behind this door is just a little closet that's gonna get totally taken out. It's yeah, just an open closet with a hanger. So, this is where the bulk of the changes are gonna happen. So, I'm a wall. Can you tell? So why don't you show, you can open the curtain in the closet and show where you're going to come upstairs now when the stairs are flipped around. So when the stairs are flipped around, we will come up right here. Mm -hmm. So when you when you come up the steps, you'll you'll end up back a little ways. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pull out that whole closet. This will be the new wall. Mm -hmm. So this will get capped and then there, well it'll get ripped out. And then the door will go centered in the seat in the room here for the yep. girls' room. And then this will be a wall. And then I'll build a closet here and keep the access panel into the crawl space. Mm -hmm, like a little linen closet. So this will be a little closet here. So there'll just be like a little landing. So we're offsetting the doors so that if you come up the steps with a mattress or something long, you can come up into one room and into the other. Mm -hmm. So that we don't put ourselves yeah. in a bind where we can't get anything in or out of here. So the girls' door will be like centered Centered. The boys' here. door will stay here. And then you're going to rebuild the closet. I'm going to, yeah, because that'll be upstairs landing area. This will be closet here. So the closet will be like, mm -hmm. and then you'll open the doors here mm -hmm. and then be hangers. Um, we'll leave that side open. I think we'll make like a little sitting area for the girls so they yep. can come up here and read um, away from the boys. And then... Um, the girls' beds too. So this, these beds used to be Dawn in my bed. So it was a queen size bed <clears throat> that we bought from Ikea with drawers underneath. So I cut it in half when we got a different bed. I cut them in half. When we redid our bedroom, we got our metal frame. Yes, when we got our metal frame. I, instead of throwing it out, I cut it in half. I had to rebuild some of them, but no, now the girls have drawers under their beds. But one thing I did not know that a queen bed is a little bit longer than a twin bed. Yeah, so the mattresses so aren't quite... So the mattresses quite... are a little short, but so what I, yeah. what I was originally And planning... you had to like rebuild the ends here, which we need to paint. Yeah, still. and the entire backsides I had to rebuild too. Yeah. Actually, I think all the drawers I had to rehang them too. Yeah, anyway, it ended up being a little bit more work than you thought. <laughs> it was totally worth it. Though. Yeah, it's awesome. They store so much. Yeah. So now what I'll do for the girls is, is I want to build um, like little built-ins. So mm -hmm. because we have this extra space, we'll slide their beds to the end, or their mattresses to the end, and then I'll build like a little header board and frame all this off to be their own little knick-knack shelves there, and they yep. can put all their stuff in, yep. and they'll be matching, right, so they each have their own. Yep. But this is a space. good size room, actually, so yeah, it is. they'll be totally comfortable in here. And then yep. um, with the boys' room, too, you can how we want to do their beds because obviously Gage is still Gage is five and he's still in a crib but he likes it so the, the, <laughs> it's cozy <laughs> right so the boys room so the boys room <laughs> so the boys room um Gage is still in a crib we're gonna get rid of that yeah what do we do the boys room I'm gonna build one big bed the whole length and put two mattresses on it and then I'm gonna build uh drawers two drawers in underneath like the girls have so it'll be four drawers under yeah. with the boys' beds which this length of this room is like perfect. I think I have a few yeah. inches extra to put two twin mattresses yep. butt to butt. So then they'll sleep here with drawers underneath, closet there for other stuff. Yeah. This will get punched out, right? Because mm -hmm. the steps are going to come up and so that's where you'll be walking. Yep. This will get capped because it'll be mm. the stairway. Yeah. This so this will, will all be wall. This will all be wall. To close in the staircase now. And then it'll be cut maybe back here so the wall will go that way yep. right here but hopefully up here we can get it done 
within the Christmas so, break week, so the kids yeah. are sleeping downstairs during Christmas break, but then they can be back. So our hope with up here. all of this renovation, because it's kind of a big deal, right? Yanking your stairwells out. <laughs> um, We've so, been trying to downplay it, but it is actually kind of a big just, deal. <laughs> actually, the basement steps, we're reusing the basement steps. We're just gonna disconnect them spin them around and reattach them yeah. so those that'll be quick but these ones aren't like quite quick so quick yeah um, <laughs> like four hours <laughs> so this construction up here we're hoping to do with the steps still in this place yeah so that's the so plan. we'll see anybody think we're crazy <laughs> i did see the comment of why don't you just save up and build a different house <laughs> um, we've actually heard that a lot over the last few years a lot we've we've <laughs> thought about it but yeah I still think this is cheaper. I like this house. So, so nothing to vote on. I think we are pretty much in agreement, except um, Tom has talked about making the stairs wider and moving the wall like the okay, whole way hold up. Okay, hold on. Okay, wider. Yes. Look at this. No, but it's, okay. It's only kids coming up here. Wouldn't you want it wider so that it looks nicer that, on the main level? That is moving that whole wall downstairs, and I do not veto. Veto. Is she doing it? Anybody? Is Dawn gonna do this? I'm living through it. <laughs> it won't All right, be that I bad. think we better end this. All right. <laughs> so downstairs, we're still not totally decided how far we're gonna go with the plaster removal or how we're gonna um, function. Uh, we actually have decided because you guys kind of were like in a landslide. Uh, not we're ripping on the out stairs, but not on the plaster. No, they were. No, I read all like read 800 Kelly. and whatever comments. I don't know if I agree with that. The whole center space out the window we'll see thanks guys <laughs> all right well we would love to know what you're up to this weekend let us know if you think we're crazy or not and we look forward to visiting with you again happy soon. thanksgiving yesterday <laughs> all right bye bye